And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media and providing you the timely truth centered around your real estate, credit, finance, estate planning, tax planning, and so much more. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show. Our number one goals are to educate, entertain, enlighten, but we want to make sure we entertain you a little bit and we want to help you uh, live a better life through engaging. you got to engage. Reach out so we can help you win. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Now our hotline number is 813-670-7372. You used to call me on my cell phone. 813-670-7372. Don't forget our number. Bookmark our website, ConsumerQB.com. A plethora of information available for you at ConsumerQB.com. You can find links to all of our expert contributors and contact information there. You can watch our live stream version of the television show version on WeBeam TV from our website, ConsumerQB.com. And we're going to help you win in any marketplace. And we want to give a shout out to our official restaurant partner, Brio Tuscan Grill International Plaza. is Brio Tuscan Grill, our official restaurant partner. Now, they have a special going on right now. All you have to do is let them know that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show, and they're going to hook you up with a free appetizer. So that goes along with that free water with lemon that they've been offering for a long time. So uh, the free appetizer over at Brio Tuscan Grill International Plaza, our official restaurant partner. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on that offer. They've got some amazing food, and it's a great time every time we go to the mall over there, West Shore or the International Mall. At Brio Tuscan Grill, our official restaurant partner. All right, this is Intelligent Talk Radio. I've got some intelligent folks here in studio with me today. And uh, seat number one, we got Jason Cobol, Cobol Law. He's a local attorney here in Tampa Bay. Welcome in, sir. Hello, Brandon. Welcome. Uh, glad to be back. What are we going to talk about today? I'm uh, just going to talk about the, some uh, workers' comp basics. If, uh, unfortunately, you uh, get hurt on the job, I'll give you a couple tips of uh, what to do and what to look out for. Yeah, workers' comp, that's a big issue, man. It's a big thing, and there's been some changes in, in uh, legislation going on up in Tallahassee, so I want to dive deeper into that with you. Yes. What's happening in Tallahassee and, and uh, some of that type of stuff. Uh, also, making her debut to the quarterback show, Donna Barron, Barron Property Management. Welcome in. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you for having us on today. I'm excited to introduce our company. Yeah. Um, what we have to offer, how we got started, what to look for when when going with a property management company, and just the ins and outs of being a successful property manager and what to look for. Yeah, property management, it's a big part of the you know, the economy, the real estate business here locally. So we'll dive deeper into that, talk about some of the different things happening in that space. So thanks for coming in. Also, Fred Muth back in the house, a.k.a. the Tin Man in studio. Mm -hmm. Tampa Screens in Aluminum, welcome back. Th thank you very much. I, I always mention, please do not confuse me with Danny DeVito. I, I do not have his money or his talent or his looks. He's a good-looking dude. You know? <laughs> and, Danny uh, DeVito. Danny DeVito, the Tin Man, the original Tin Man. Any, anyway, we're um, it, our business has uh, gone through the roof. Uh, it's an excellent business to be in. Brandon, if you keep moving them them homes, keep finding people to buy them new homes. Yeah. They want a new screen enclosure. That's the first thing that they buy after the furniture's paid for. Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. So we're, Get we're it doing, in there. Take doing, care of that in-between space, right? It's not the inside that's of the it. house. It's not outside. It's not exterior space, but it's actually that, that in-between space that is so lovely here uh, in Florida, especially those those months that we have just that nice 70-degree weather, you know? We do get a few of them. Yeah. Yes, we do. Sunny in 75 sometimes. That's right. And um, we've got a feel-good story of the week. Two-year-old makes miraculous recovery after parents turn off life support. Uh, that's our feel good story of the week. And uh, as you know, I'm the owner of Platinum MVP Realty. I'm a published author and professional speaker. Check out our book on Amazon. Become the MVP in your industry by surfing the radio waves. We'd love for you to check that out. And uh, we've got part two of that book coming out now as well, where we're actually launching a company with Ken Shamrock, Des Woodruff, and Lindsay Huffnagel as well. We're uh, starting Business Grow Celebrity Academy. So part two of that book is coming out. And real excited about this event. We've got a really cool event coming up. I'm going to hold up the uh, flyer here. So 2018 Tampa Bay Wealth Summit coming up. I'm speaking at this event. 
event on the 21st, April 21st. It's going to be 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Full day of awesome speakers, great lineup, and it's the Wealth Summit. Find out more on how you can make more money in 2018 and beyond. It's at the uh, St. Petersburg Marriott Clearwater there. A uh, great place to have an event, great venue, uh, and some of those Headline speakers, Lisa Nichols from The Secret, James Arthur Ray from the movie The Secret, that documentary, as well as Jay Lee in the house as well here today uh, in studio watching us record. So shout out to Jay. He's going to be on the show next week. But uh, all right, so we're going to help you win. Let's jump into it. Actually, you know, before we do, I'll mix something up. We Did you guys hear about Jay, um, uh, Fred? You have such a good uh, personality and a sense of humor. I, I wanted to mention this to you. Thank you. Uh, did you guys hear about this uh, Uber driver? He quit. He quit driving for Uber and Lyft. He was driving for both. Did you hear about this one? No, no. Let's go. Yeah, let's, he got he got tired of people one. talking behind his back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Corny you joke. Had me. That's I, had I had John. <laughs> I said that to John the other day, and he said, man, did your daughter tell you that? <laughs> uh, we were all like so in tune. We were like yeah. waiting for him. <laughs> yeah, it was a good setup, right? But yeah, a little, little senseless comedy there to start off the show. But, but yeah, having some fun there. So... Uh, so, so when we talk about, let's jump into it with Jason Cobalt here. Back to uh, you know Intelligent Talk Radio. We're helping people understand these laws. You know, Tallahassee, Washington. You know, they have low approval ratings. You know, the Senate, the the legislature, they have low approval ratings, ten to twelve percent. And when you dig into some of the laws, you find out why. So, what's happening with workers' comp and those those areas? Uh, what are you seeing? Well, last time uh, I was on the show, I went in depth to the new change that occurred for. Uh, unfortunate uh, circumstances where there's a, a mass shooting our first responders which previously weren't covered are now covered which is good for for mental injuries uh, the law previous was that you needed a corresponding physical injury in order to have a mental injury uh, now they've expanded that for first responders hopefully in the future they'll go beyond just first responders but it's a good first step as yeah. far as the recent change um, and also um, not through the legislature, but through the Florida Supreme Court, uh, there's been a case that came out, the Westfall case, uh, where ultimately our limitation on uh, indemnity or lost wages was expanded from two years or 104 weeks to now five years. So it extends the amount of lost wages an injured worker could get. But um, yeah, every state has their own laws for uh, workers' comp. And uh, it's definitely, if you get hurt on the job, it's very, very smart, especially if, it, if it's a serious injury, you should get an attorney. Because a lot of people don't realize you know, I hear, oh, I can't afford an attorney. You don't have to pay them anything. They get their money. It's a contingency fee arrangement. Right, right. So if you're seriously hurt at work, get an attorney, preferably me. But at least, you know, yeah. if you're hurt at work, get somebody because it's not going to cost you a dime. And at least you'll you'll know how to play the game that you get forced into, whether you like it or not. Right. So very and, smart. And, and here's the thing. If you don't get one, they're going to have one. Yep. They're going to have representation on their side. And they being, a lot of times, the insurance companies, you know, they're playing a game that they played many times. So if you go at it alone, you're at a severe disadvantage. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, uh, every case I have, there's always pitfalls to avoid, uh, circumstances to look out for. And I, you know, I've been doing it for 16 years, so I, I know how to play the game. But if you're in there as an injured worker and you've never done it before, you're definitely at a disadvantage. Yeah, and, and you mentioned something too as well, uh, Jason, that there are state-specific laws regarding yes. the workers' comp. How does Florida stack up in, in that? Well, uh, they say it's the second worst next to Texas. Wow. And, and the reason is, it's funny because we were talking, we all come from the northeast part of the country. Yeah. And uh, I grew up in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. And in the Poconos, there's Teamster unions. There's, mm. you know, there's, there's organizations that fight for employees and the workers where down here it doesn't really exist. Right. So it's, it's tough. It's tough. And I also was sharing my history. Uh, my first three years out of law school, I worked for the insurance company side, uh, okay. representing employers and insurance companies. I almost quit practicing law. I was like, man, maybe this isn't for me. Yeah. I just felt like we had all the advantages. But ever since I switched to the other side, I feel like I'm fighting for the little guy. Yeah. And uh, I, I have a passion for it. I love it. So, Truly yeah. a consumer advocate. Yes, exactly. Yeah, consumer. I'm honored to be here, but it's a good fit. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. I like that. And, yep. you know, because when you, when you think about the workers' comp side, and then also you get into personal injury. I know you do some personal injury work as well. Yes, and that's a, actually, I'm glad you brought that up. It's good to, to think about how did your accident happen because... Mm -hmm. For workers' comp, you don't have to prove fault. If you're on the job, you get hurt, you automatically get thrown into the system and you get limited benefits. You get medical benefits and you get lost wages. Uh, if that accident was caused by a third party, you might actually have two cases, which yeah. a lot of people miss out on because they don't even think about it, right. where they have a civil case and a workers' comp. And in the civil case, you get much more pain and suffering, mental anguish. You get everything you don't get in workers' comp. Mm -hmm. So definitely... 
uh, speak to an attorney, someone who specializes preferably in both, like I do, um, because you never know uh, what you have until you talk to an expert. Yeah, and there's that rule as well, that 14-day rule I think people need to be cognizant of. For PIP, yes. For PIP, uh, yeah. Yeah, th- what it is is um, whenever you get in an accident, for as far as like a car accident, the first $10,000 is your PIP. It's your insurance. After that Personal is, injury protection. Correct. Yep. After that is exhausted, then you go to bodily injury of the at-fault party, and then after that, if that's not enough, UM. But um, the law says if you don't get to an MD within 14 days of the accident yeah. uh, and, and meet a certain standard where the MD says, okay, you know, there's objective findings of an injury, yada, 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 you only get 2500 in PIP. So it's mm-hmm. imperative. If you let the clock go by and the 14 days comes and goes, you just cost yourself $7,500. So it's yeah. very important. Recent change that occurred. Yeah, yeah. It's important that you stay up to date on what's happening with Congress, what's happening with yep. these workers' comp laws. Uh, you know, a lot of good content there. Jason Cobol, Cobol Law. Com. Yep. Uh, more from Jason coming up in the show and more from our expert contributors right after this short, short break. Do not touch that dial. Uh, coming up, we have more from our expert contributors and also our feel-good story of the week. Two-year-old makes miraculous recovery after parents turn off life support. Stay with us right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. For more information, go to ConsumerQB.com. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7377. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. 
All right, welcome back. Brandon Rimes here at Consumer Quarterback Show, helping you win in any marketplace. That's the goal of our show. Uh, we want you to think about our show as the hub of your financial, your business, your health, will. Each spoke extending out, representing another one of our preferred partners, our expert contributors. So think about this show as the hub of your wheel. Each spoke extending out, representing people that can help you, people that care to help you. Uh, we have CPAs, financial advisors, several types of attorneys associated with the show, all types of real estate experts as well. Uh, so reach out to our hotline if you need need some help, uh, consumerqb.com is our website, consumerqb.com. You can submit a form there. There's an email that comes directly through to myself and my team. We're going to make sure we get back to you before our head hits the pillow and make sure we take special care of our listeners as well. We want to give a shout out to Mary Maids, our official cleaning partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show is Mary Maids. Uh, they do a great job cleaning our real estate properties. Uh, Mary Maids, relax, it's done, and they do a great job cleaning our properties. They're voted the uh, best and, and uh, Women's Choice Award. They're recipients of the Women's Choice Award as well. So uh, Mary Maids, our official cleaning partner. Support our show partners. Please reach out to Mary Maids and uh, relax. It's done. Uh, that's their motto, and they do a great job uh, cleaning our properties here throughout Tampa Bay, all of the Tampa Bay area, Clearwater, Palm Harbor, Newport Ritchie, Land Lakes. They can help you. So if you're a busy person, busy uh, professional, uh, let them clean your home. Focus on your business. Focus on growing relationships and uh, getting out there and networking more. So a hot property from Platinum MVP Realty. I want to let you know about this hot property here. Uh, 9825 Wilski Boulevard in Tampa. This is a $1.5 million home. It's a unique and ultra exquisite home. Uh, perfect for entertaining just outside of West Chase. What's cool about this property is it's a, you have this mansion right outside of West Chase. Uh, so any any entrepreneurs, uh, businessmen that live, you know, want, want to work downtown but still be close enough to, you know, visit this property, it's a great one. You got to check it out. 9825 Wilski Boulevard. It's on a freshwater lake, large lot, no neighbors, beautiful property. PlatinumMVPRealty.com. You can see all of our listings at PlatinumMVPRealty.com. And uh, you can check out the photography as well. Shout out to Fabray Frameworks. They do a great job on our real estate photography. Uh, Sean and Manny Fabray over there do a great job. All right, so segment one, we heard from Jason Coble. More from Jason coming up. We're going to dive a little deeper in our lightning round with him into some of the other uh, things happening with the personal injury law, the uh, workers' comp basics, some of those things happening. Uh, but we want to welcome in our new uh, – one of our newer expert contributors, Donna Barron, Barron Property Management. So welcome in. Thank you so much. So I just want to give a little background on Barron Property Management. We are a full-service property management company. We're located in Trinity, Florida. Right now okay. we have um, a few properties up in Pasco County. We are growing. Um, we've been doing it for four years now, um, and we are, we're growing really quick. So within the past year is when I really decided – that I wanted to take the step and go into doing our own business. Nice. Um, I've been doing property management for 12 years now for other companies and properties. Yep. And every property I would say, okay, I think it's time to do it on my own. I had a specific goal in mind um, and I have a specific way of doing things. And I always try to make it so that it's for the homeowner or for or for that association. So yeah. my goal is really customer service is our driving force of how we run our business. Uh, the paperwork end of it, that happens when nobody's looking. But the customer service part is we always have our door open. We always answer our phone. Um, a perfect example is this morning, seven o'clock this morning, my telephone rings. It's a tenant of somebody else that yep. asked me, hey, can you help me? I can't get in touch with anybody. So yeah. I help them. Um, and that's really our goal is is really building that customer service and making it, it almost unreachable to anybody else so that when they hear Barron Property Management, they know we're customer service and it's that to really be the best in that aspect of it. Let me, let me ask you just as well to break it down uh, for some of our listeners that might not even understand what property management is. What, what exactly is property management? So we offer a full service of um, financials. Um, we do budgeting, communication with the board, the supervision of all of the vendors on site, supervision of the staff if there's staff on site, dealing with the homeowners on a daily basis, helping them with architectural stuff if they have to do something on their home. Okay. Um, if it's a condo, they don't really do architectural stuff, but they do more of like if they need to do interact with the community or interact with the board, they would come through the the property manager like a community um, yard sale maybe 
Yeah, they do community gar- uh, yard sales. You know, we do social events. So, like, mm-hmm. on a Friday night, we'll hold a happy hour for the associations to come and get together and just become a community. Um, when we go into a community, the first thing is obviously is to get it functioning 100% on the business side. So make sure that their financials are in order, their insurance, all that stuff. Make sure they have the proper insurance for their property, the common mm-hmm. areas. Make sure the board has their DNO insurance so that, you know, if something goes wrong and the they E&O, have the, E&O insurance. the DNO directors and officers policy. Okay. Yep. So they need to be protected as well. So it's always important to make sure you go in and you review all of these things and make sure that they have the proper coverage and have you know, money in the bank and make sure that things are running smoothly. Yeah. Uh, once you get past that part, then really your job is to make it a community again and get the owners together and get the board on the same page so you have a good working board. That's right. Um, you know, and again, it all comes back to that customer service. You have to give 150% to the board and to your residents so that they know and they trust you and they can come in and, yeah. you know, there's a way to say something, and you guys will appreciate this. There's a way to tell somebody no and make them still like you. Yeah. You know, if somebody comes in and, you know, they're in violation and you send a nasty letter and they come in and they want to talk about it and you're nasty right. when they come into the office. Right. It's just going to go from bad to worse. Yeah. Anytime you give a no, it's great to do a fast no. Give them a quick no. That way you're not dragging it on. Especially like, you know, I remember that from the mortgage industry. If you had to tell somebody you turned down for a loan, tell them fast and tell them nicely. You know, so that's a great point. Uh, by the way, if you just joined us, I'm your host, Brandon Rimes. We're talking with Donna Barron here, Barron Property Management. And one of the things I wanted to mention as well is this was an issue back when we had the mortgage meltdown. You know, so you had the mortgage meltdown, you had the 08 meltdown, the crisis, the, you know, so the, a lot of the condos, they weren't managed properly and they had all these assessments that were being assessed and, you know, new buyers were like, I'm not going to move into that community because of the, the HOA fees are astronomical. You know, so yep. that's, that's why this is important. Yep. And that's the most important thing is, is really keeping an eye on that budget and, and watching, you know, the maintenance aspect of the buildings or the, if it's an HOA, the common areas and mm-hmm. to make sure that that's ran properly and maintained. Because if not, exactly what you said, you're going to get hit with that assessment. And then it's hard for the people living there and it's hard for the people trying to come in. And if, if as soon as you get when there's a special assessment or it's on, on the way or there's discussion, you might as well just shut it down because... People aren't going to buy into it. They're not, right. you know, they don't want to make an investment and then now know that there's issues on that property. Yeah, it's a big challenge. It's a, it's a very challenging part of the real estate space. And especially in Tampa Bay, we've got our fair share of condominiums and, and you know, they're all around. Yep. And I, I managed one of the biggest condos down in Channelside and, you know, we had many, many issues. But mm. if you, we, we maintain the budget and maintain the building properly so that, when that time came, you didn't get hit with a hundred thousand dollar assessment. You know, we were able to maneuver it so that we were able to fix the issues and keep the maintenance fees pretty much the same. And if you how were you able to do that? What's what's part of the inner workings of that? It's really having your reserves funded, fully mm-hmm. funded, yep. making sure that your budget is fully funded, make sure that your assessments are broken down properly, and mm-hmm. that's I mean that's really doing your budget. You know and a lot of people will do their budget like within two weeks. You can't do that because you have to actually go through each line item, see where you spent the money, see, you know, did we fall short in this in this area? And if we did, why? And then just kind of build that up so that you build a budget that is for that actual community and be able to stay on top of it and continue to manage it so that down the road it doesn't come back and bite you because you didn't properly do your budget yeah yeah (laughs) that's i mean and it happens and i've seen it and taken over properties i've seen it so yeah so the so the business side i think we we understand the business side of barron property management donna barron and and your husband chris is in studio here as well so we like to let our listeners know a little bit more about you personally as well so it sounds like you got we have something in common we're we're athletes i'm at least a former athlete myself you know as usf football i played on the inaugural football team but uh you guys are uh, competitive athletes as well we are we actually do bodybuilding cool um i started four years ago my husband has actually started when he was a teenager and then he stopped for a while got hurt and started back up when he started back up it was kind of like if you do it i'll do it that was his mentality if if you will do it with me i'll do it again i'm like okay let me see if i can do this so i did and i put you know 150 percent into it and i and we did it and nice our first show together was amazing 
he stopped competing after that, and I've been competing now for four years. So that's oh, wow. kind of how that played out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's but, good to have a partner. Yep. Like, especially when you're working out, you're pushing yourself. And he, believe me, he pushes me. I think that's why he's not competing, because he likes to push me more than nice. actually doing it with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, I love it. It's a good outlet from from being in the property manager, being an attorney. You know yeah. this what you do as well. Yeah. It's, it's a good outlet just to kind of release some steam and be able yeah. to leave the gym and then go back home and refocus on what you need to do. So I, we love it. Um, you know, I started in property management kind of weird. Um, I, we moved here from New York yeah. and I was looking for a job and I was like, okay, well I got to do something. And I found an admin job and then my GM actually got fired and they promoted me into that position. Nice. So I'm like, okay, I could do this. So I went and got my license. The American and dream. That's Work it. your way up, make that's some money and, and grow the business, start your own business. That's the American dream right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. I love it. A lot of my family self-employed. I've been self-employed virtually my whole life as well. And uh, so, so great story there. More from our expert contributors when we come back. Uh, Jason Cobol in studio as well. Jason Cobol, Cobol Law, uh, Donna Barron, Fred Muth, 10 man coming up as well as Tampa Screens and Aluminum. And uh, more from our expert contributors and our few good story as well we're going to get into this one it's an interesting story two-year-old makes a miraculous recovery after parents turn off life support stay with us here consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com hey i'm ken shamrock and you're here with consumer quarterback show and i say brandon rhymes knock out your competition to get in touch with brandon call 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com Hi, my name is Joe Staltieri. I'm one of the owners of Complete Care Systems. At Complete Care Systems, we do carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, tile and grout sealing, wood floor and laminate floor deep cleaning, as well as stripping and waxing of linoleum and vinyl floors and a whole lot more. We also run daily deals and special, which you can find at CompleteCareSystems.com or simply call Trisha up at 727-364-364. 5158 and she'll answer all your questions and give you over the phone free estimates or she'll send me out to your home or office to give you an on-site free estimate at complete care systems we don't cut corners we clean them hi i'm jerry from hot locks hair salon we are conveniently located at 13414 us highway 19 in hudson I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years seven of which i was an educator our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hollox is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 
listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes, I'm your host here, Consumer Quarterback Show owner of Platinum MVP Realty, and we're actually looking for a Spanish-speaking, bilingual real estate agent right now. Anybody that knows somebody that speaks Spanish, we need to have them get in contact with us. We're looking for a Spanish-speaking real estate agent to join our team, PlatinumMVPRealty.com. And, of course, our Consumer Advocate Hotline is the best place to reach us. There's so many ways that we can connect you with some of the best uh, entrepreneurs, business owners out there, consumer advocates that come on our show and appear daily to help you understand more about things happening in your life. 813-670-7372. Eight one three six seven zero seven three seven two. That's our consumer advocate hotline. You can call or text that line, and we're going to make sure we get back to you right away before our head hits the pillow for sure. And consumerqb.com. You can find a lot of information at consumerqb.com. I want to give a shout out to our official restaurant partner. I'm sorry, our hotel partner here, Hotel Zamora Kipton's, the Hotel Zamora on beautiful St. Pete Beach. It's a restaurant. They got a lounge. Got the rooftop Zamora bar there. So it's a great place to go and visit. Kipton's Hotel Zamora on beautiful St. Pete Beach is our official hotel partner, and they've got a great uh, rooftop 360 lounge as well. If you haven't seen that, you got to go check it out. And by the way, you can just go have breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You don't have to stay there uh, to uh, just check out the facility. And if you do, however, if you do stay, let them know the real estate quarterback sent you, and they're going to get 20% off of your stay over at Kipton's, the Hotel Zamora on beautiful St. Pete Beach. Public service announcement. We got a public service announcement. We asked uh, Steve from Replenish IV asked me to uh, do a public service announcement for uh, his buddy here. It's a it's a uh, gentleman that has a uh, we've got a, a car wash going on barbecue. There's going on games. It's a local hero here. Uh, he's a friend, a husband, and father, and he was a firefighter paramedic, uh, Jimmy Riley. So he wants to. Uh, we want you to support him. He's got on April twenty second, twenty eighteen. He's got a car wash going on to support him out in Plant City, Alexander Street in Plant City. April twenty second, ten a.m. Uh, go and see if you can help this gentleman out and uh, be a force for good in the community. That's what we talk about: being a force for good, and random acts of kindness. And uh, coming up as well, two year old makes a miraculous recovery after parents turn off life support in our feel good story. And uh, real estate wise, I want to let you know about a property on the beach. This property was just. Re- this is Mandalay Avenue, Clearwater Beach. Uh, we're going to have an open house as well at this property. Uh, 1024 Mandalay Avenue, Clearwater. Two-bedroom, two-bath property, over 1,800 square feet with a split floor plan and the beautiful North Clearwater Beach in Carolel community. It's minutes from the beach. Beautiful place to live, work, and play is Tampa Bay, and that's a great property at $719,000, just reduced down to $719,000. All right, we got an all-star lineup today for you. Uh, Jason Cobol, CobolLaw.com, Donna Barron, Barron Property Management, and we got Fred Muth now. We're going to talk with Fred, the tin man here in studio. So Tampa Screens and Aluminums, uh, what's happening with you, man? What are you seeing out there? It's it's going wild. Um, You know, we're having the times of our lives right now. And I go back to 07 and 08 when it all dried up and, uh, you know, we didn't didn't know what to do with ourselves. We, you know, because we were busy making money and then it stopped. Now we're back to that point where it's it's coming at us. It's very good. Uh, the phones are ringing off the walls. Now I get, that was my phone that just rang a few minutes ago. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. I thought I turned it off. Um, it, but it's good. It's all good. Uh, and, and, I, and I'm not trying to be over-optimistic because I'm on the radio. It's just mm-hmm. tremendous. Um, of course, it's probably going to slow down someday soon, but uh, just a little bit. Just a little. Not much. Not well, much. you know, the, the thing I like about, you know, the, the market and where we're at now is that, you know, we learned our lesson. I, you know, we yes, went through we that did. 07, 08 crisis. Now we got Dodd-Frank in, in line and, and, in, in my opinion, some overreaching in terms of regulation. But, you know, we're, we're in a healthy market now. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. You know, uh, in the break room, we had a conversation, the three of us, and uh, we were talking about the property management. Um, Donna's really in a business that they earn their money. Yeah. And uh, some of the, you know, that, our conversation was pretty involved. Uh, you know, we we should have probably brought that conversation to the uh, to the radio today because it was it was good. Yeah. Yep. And um, so, some of the stuff that goes on in that business, it, a lot of people are unaware of. 
Right. And uh, boy, when you pay a property manager, whatever you pay them, it's well worth it. I'm a landlord. Yeah. I, I know. I love my property managers. They just, they take care of me. Yeah. Very, very well. That's right. And uh, you, you attorneys do pretty good, too. You, uh, you, you, you are doing money. Every now and then. Uh, every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, back, back to the screen business, um, you know, I, I just mentioned constantly that... Um, we, you know, we're in a beautiful part of the world down here. Uh, you're, you're not going to sell these things in too many other places in the country. Patios, screen rooms, pool enclosures, the cages. When I can design uh, a cage and, and make somebody happy and, of course, make the company happy because I made a sale, I'm a happy guy. It's yeah. just it's the way it works. And uh, I sold one yesterday. I'm going to sell one today. I'm probably going to sell one Friday. I mean, it's, this is the way it's going these days. And, uh, and it's just, it just keeps coming at us. Yeah, nope. it, it, and it's it's really unique because what it does is it adds value to your existing property. Absolutely. Not only can you enjoy it, but you're you're enhancing your future resale. Right, and and you you go through these developments, and, and you know you see these three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar homes, barrel tile roofs, beautiful homes, and uh, what are they missing? They're missing a cage on the back. Yeah, and you, you go by, and uh, you know, in a year, year and a half, two years later, sixty, eighty percent of them all have some type of, a, of an enclosure on the back. Yeah, yeah, they're they're going to be added on, and I think you know here here's an interesting conundrum too. I think you know, and I'm not sure people fully understand this. One of the changes that rolled out with the tax, the Trump tax plan, was he changed from the home equity lines being a deductible deductible um, uh, mortgage interest payment. So now, okay. so that so you know, because I know some people will pull out a home equity line to right. pay for a pool or even a screen yes. uh, lanai. So that'll be interesting to see. You know, maybe that slows some people down. I think that was the intent. Uh, with that law, with mm-hmm. that rule, that change. Yeah, so where, where's it going to go, do you know? Well, the, 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 I think the point is what they did is they said, hey, you know, instead of people, because again, to your point earlier about the market being hot, is with these home equity lines, a lot of times people use them as a credit card. They said, hey, I'm going to pay off my credit card debt. I'm going to go out and buy a four-wheeler, ATV boat, you know, anything like that. And that's what caused some of the, that's what contributed to some of the cause right. of the mortgage meltdown. So the change was, hey, you know, back then that was a write-off in terms of tax that the interest paid. Now it's not. Mm-hmm. So that's right. just a small change. Will it affect people? I don't, I don't think that much. Yeah, I, I don't know that they'll allow you to do that in today's world. Will they? If you do a HELOC, I, I, I believe it has to go towards home improvement. Uh, home improvement, Maybe. regardless. That in, might in be something. Cases. Yeah. That might be something that changed. I, I don't. I don't stay and you know. I keep my ear to the ground a little bit about the mortgage side, but I'm out there, you know, getting listings, right. putting contracts yeah. together. I like the mortgage teams put that together. Right. You know. Yeah. But yeah, maybe so. I, I don't know. That's, it should. That's I mean, it should be in place that, that way. I, yeah, well, they, no, no, no I, doubt about I don't it. know, man. They have cash out refis. I mean, you can cash out for almost anything, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so who knows? Maybe so. If you just join us, I'm your host, Brandon Rhymes. We're talking with Fred Muth, a.k.a. the Tin Man in the house here. Tampa Screens and Aluminum. So, Fred, are you? Are we still – one of the challenges that we talk about, too, with contractors right now, and, of course, we're, you know, we're building our house, so we're seeing it, is the, the labor force. Is it still challenging? It's, it's rough, yeah. yes. Uh, you know, the, the sales continue. Um, a statement I usually make on the program, uh, if there were 1,500 good screen enclosure installation crews – in the state of Florida, or on the west coast of Florida, we'll say, 15 years ago, there's still 1,500. I mean, right. they're not. It's not something that you can just learn to do overnight. Mm. Uh, a lot of the guys in that industry started out as framers, and then they learned that they could tweak the framing industry, and then they could become more talented and learn how to roll screen and make the tolerances much closer. Right. And they stayed with that. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I've am I'm been doing this 27 years I've been in this business. And, wow. And I'm still amazed when I watch these guys put these things up. Yeah. You know, um, I mean, I'm sort of a ham and egger myself around the house, a like handyman, whatever. <laughs> I couldn't do what these guys do. You yeah. Know, I can sell it, but I certainly can't install it. You watch these guys roll the fabric. They get up on the beams. They'll, they'll walk across a two-inch beam, and they'll, they'll pull the fabric, <laughs> pull the spline. Yeah. There's another guy on the next beam. They're telling jokes. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's I mean, come on. That's that's talent. That's a skill set yeah. right yes, there. Yeah. Everybody's got their in, yeah. own individual skill set. And of course, I always tell them never come down the ladder the way you went up. You know that story, right? Yeah, I like that one. Head first. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't want to come down that way. Yeah. So you know, when you look at that and, and the ability, so Tampa Screens and Aluminum. You know, long-time company here Long in Tampa time, Bay. Yeah. Another theme we have with our show is supporting your local companies. Yeah, Richard, you know, local Richard owns the lenders. company. Yep. Richard, Richard owns it. Richard's been been in this business longer than he's owned this company. This company yeah. He's owned this company since 1989, and he was in the business prior to that. 
Wow. And you know what I like about Richard? Don't tell him I said this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't want I don't want him to think that I'm greasing him on the show. You know? Okay, yeah. okay. All right. He'll laugh at that if he hears. <laughs> anyway, he's he's still a hands on guy. Yeah. And he he's still a nuts and bolts guy. Right. He knows the business. He knows what the he could go out and build one of these things if he had to. Yeah. And uh that's that's why he's still in business and doing so well. And I think that's a that's a good point you make is, you know, too many times we see business owners or maybe managers that they don't actually know how to do or are willing to do what the what the front line workers are doing. That's correct. Yeah. You know, and so then the front line workers have much more respect for the guy that writes, right. the, writes their check. That's right. You it's know, like in the real estate it. industry, it's, you know, it's maybe it's making sales calls, you know, picking up the phone, making sales calls. People are dreading the sales calls, you know. Pick up the phone. I'll, I'll pick up the phone and make them and show sure. them, you know, hey, here's how it's done. Here's how I do it. And this is how you make your money in well, a lot of cases. It's follow ob- up. It's obvious you enjoy what you do. And that's, that's right. that matters. Thank you. Yep. And, and I do as well. Absolutely. All right. Stay with us here. When we come back, we're going to jump into our lightning round. We're going to have our top tips from our expert contributors, parting words of wisdom. And we're also going to cover our feel good story as well. Two year old makes miraculous recovery after parents turn off life support. Find out more about this story and more from our expert contributors. Consumer Quarterback Show will be right back after this short, short break. Do not touch that dial. This is Work Done, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show, hosted by my man, Brandon Rhymes. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com. I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978.
Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. Welcome back, and thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rimes here, your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, owner of Platinum MVP Realty, former USF football player, played on the inaugural football team at USF, and a quarterback on my sports teams growing up state championship games, national championship games appearances. Now I'm a quarterback on a different level. What I'm doing is I'm quarterbacking introductions to our expert contributors, all of our folks that we bring on the show to help you win and understand more of more about things happening in your daily life, uh, acting as that consumer advocate. Every day we go to battle against the often negative mainstream media right here on 1380 The Biz, Monday through Friday, 5 o'clock drive time, weekends on 1025 The Bone, Sunday mornings, daily TV show on We Beam TV. Check out our TV show stream. If you haven't seen it, 10 a.m. We Beam TV, uh, We Beam TV.com and ConsumerQB.com. And it's Intelligent Talk Radio. I've got some intelligent folks here in studio with me today. We're going to jump into our lightning round. And we also have a hot property compliments of Platinum MVP Realty. I want to let you know about this property. Uh, looking for my million dollar buyers down in St. Pete. This is a 215 12th Avenue Northeast in St. Pete. This is a beautiful property. Sips panel construction. And it's a uh, pre, pre-construction home. It's almost done. It's going to be completed uh, within the next couple of weeks. 215 12th Avenue Northeast in that old Northeast section. One $1.4 million, great buying opportunity here in beautiful Tampa Bay. Somewhere, somewhere, sunny and 75. All right, all right. So uh, here we are back in studio. Let's go ahead and jump into our feel good story. Every day we want to tell you something good, something positive happening. Tell me something good. So we got a two-year-old that makes a miraculous recovery after parents turn off life support. Um, so a two-year-old boy with lung cancer woke up from a coma moments after his parents agreed to turn off his life support. On uh, Christmas Day 2015, Dylan Askin was rushed to the Derby Royal Hospital in England with breathing problems and was found to have a collapsed lung. Further tests revealed his lungs were covered with uh, cysts. Dylan was diagnosed with extreme rare pulmonary uh, langerous cell histosis, uh, PLCH. Uh, two years later, Dylan outlook, Dylan's outlook was looking bleak. His lungs were barely functioning. The doctors, in agreement with Dylan's parents, started to withdraw his life support. On Good Friday, they told us things were looking bleak and they weren't going to get him back. Dylan's mom said all the settings all the settings on the machines were at the, their highest and was still uh, struggling we had him uh, christened all his family came from all over to say goodbye including his big brother but as the med- medics withdrew the medication and began to sedate him the boy's heart rate dropped to normal levels we just said stop there's still a fight in him Kerry said dylan's oxygen levels supported uh, started to improve he was awake and began to regain his strength on easter sunday dylan was deemed stable enough to return home uh, dylan is our easter miracle Kerry said when we told our eldest son he said it's like uh, jesus he said so wow. cool story that's wow. awesome feel got, good story of the week all i right, got i got tears coming down from that one yeah, yeah. We're jumping into our lightning round now. The lightning round! I am so good at lightning rounds! I majored in lightning rounds. All right, so we got top tips, nuggets of advice, parting words of wisdom. Attorney Jason Kobol, Kobol Law, you're up first, sir. Yes, uh, if you do get injured on the job, uh, everyone should know medical bills are not your responsibility. So if you had a workers' comp case, even if it's over, Check your credit report. Make sure you don't have any medical bills on there because it's a prevalent problem Mm. that's happening way too often. In fact, if you had any medical treatment, check your credit report. Make sure things are accurate. And if you see something that's not, give me a call. Okay, awesome. So medical bills are the responsibility of the employer if you're injured on the job. You got it. Great. All right, Donna Barron, Barron Property Management. So when looking for a property management company, um, really picking the right company is going to make the difference of succeeding and failing in your community. So you want to make sure that when you're looking for a property management company that they are going to have your best interests in mind. Um, make sure that they're going to be taking care of your financials, the budgeting, um, communication with the board, communication with the homeowners, um, managing those vendors, staying on top of the, the day-to-day operations and making sure that it's going to 
continue to grow and continue to be successful. If not, your your community will fail. Yeah, healthy books, making sure they have the healthy books because that's going to lead to a lot of problems if they're not. Mm-hmm. Great stuff. All right, Fred Muth, the Tin Man, Tampa Screens. Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, if you're bidding out such a project, screen enclosure, patio, pool enclosure, whatever it is, please ask a lot of questions. Yeah. Uh, we, we welcome the questions. We urge the customer to ask the questions. My best customers are the ones that ask more questions than anybody else. Yeah. Um, they, they need to know about ground elevations, about water, where the water is going to go when it drains. Th- these, are, these are the concerns mm-hmm. in our industry because we, w- when we build one of these, we take, a, take away percolation uh, right. in the ground. And basically now the water has to find a new, a new place to hide, That's a new right. place to run, etc. So um, I can usually point that out. But I, I do enjoy when I, I meet with the customer and they ask that question initially. And I know that, that, that that's going to be a good project because uh, w- once it's built, um, if the questions aren't covered before it's built, basically it's a big surprise on the back end. Yeah. And uh, I, I know this industry, and the, unfortunately there's a lot of my competitors that do not welcome questions. Mm-hmm. They, they, they like the surprises, unfortunately. Yeah, the surprises. So They're not good. We, no, we, we, we don't like surprises in our business any way, shape, or form. That's right. Being a homeowner myself, I've, I've had some work done on the house. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I'll tell you what, it's not fun. Yeah, yeah. So we're in the middle of our lightning round here, and, and uh, what I want to talk about is something I, I speak about whenever I'm, I'm doing my public speaking business is the power of focus. You know, what you focus on is going to expand. Uh, where your focus goes, your energy is going to flow, and it, it's one of the most important things you can focus on, you can utilize as a business owner, a manager, uh, anybody looking to grow uh, either personally or business-wise is the 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle. So uh, the, the rule basically says that uh, 20% of your activity are going to contribute to 80% of your success. And the rule, it's a, it's a, it's a rule, it's a law that's basically seen in, in many different areas, and it's, it's a real thing. It's really out there. So especially nowadays, you have an opportunity to pull up you know, great YouTube videos, instructional videos, podcasts. There's so many ways you can fill your mind with positive things that are going to lead you in the right direction versus a lot of the garbage out there uh, that we know, you know where that's at. So, all right, let's do another round here. Top tips, nuggets of advice, parting words of wisdom. Jason Coble. Sure. Uh, one last thing I want to mention about workers' comp. There's the types of accidents we all know about. If you're working for the Tin Man and you fall head first off the ladder, you know that that's an accident. The injury came you from went that down accident. the wrong way. I told you <laughs> yeah. not to. But there's another type of accident and injury that a lot of people don't know about, but it's in the statute. And I'm talking about repetitive trauma cases. Mm. So say you had a job, for example, I represented a garbage man. He was a garbage man for 25 years, had a bad back. It was obviously due from 25 years of heavy lifting. Um, or maybe you're uh, an office employee where you've been typing 25 years, you develop carpal tunnel. So you, if you have an injury related to your employment, it, you don't necessarily have to have an acute accident that you could point at. Mm. Those are less frequent. Uh, they come up because I think a lot of people don't even know they exist. So repetitive right. trauma injuries, they do exist. And if you feel you're hurt related to work, give me a call. Hurt related to work. I like yep. that. There you go. <laughs> Jason Cobol, CobolLaw.com as well. And and all of our expert contributors, a reminder, are listed at ConsumerQB.com. All right. Donna Barron, Barron Property Management. Yes. So just to continue on, um, hiring a competent property management company can add significant value to your association. Yeah. Um, it's really important to make sure that your a uh, property management company that you're interviewing understands the 718 and 720, which is Florida statutes, mm-hmm. um, understands what it takes to run that community, and learns the ins and outs of that community, um, and really focuses on that customer service portion that I've stressed so much because yeah. that's really what's going to make that person su- successful or not. Question for you. You, I, we, I understand you're you're managing for the uh, the associations, the big communities. Now, do you, would you do or do you take one off business from from homeowners that want to? You know, let's say I'm an investor, I got a handful of properties, two or three properties. Do you do that type of management as well? We do. Okay, well that's good to know because you know a lot of investors. We talk about investors here. Uh, in, in yesterday's show, we we're talking about how a veteran can buy up to seven hundred and, and some odd dollars four units. You know, because it's owner occupied, you can have four units. 
Think about the ability to buy rental income properties, producing properties. And then the other side of that conversation is, well, you know, Brandon, I don't want to deal with tenants, toilets, and termites, right? Right. So, <laughs> so hire Barron Property Management. They can do that for you. So, yep, um, and we do it with a smile. So that always there helps. You go. And if not, then we just show our muscles, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, show up. At, you think those 7 a.m. calls where the homeowner will not have to. Exactly. The, the, the landlord will not have to. Yep. All right, Fred Muth, top nuggets of advice. Yeah, the uh, the industry is uh, sort of plagued with uh, back, back-ordered permitting and back-ordered permits. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, if you really want a cage, you really want a screen enclosure, you, you have to move fast on it because the county and the cities do not move fast. Yeah. So please be patient. And in humor, I always say, if you really wanted a square house, you should have ordered a round one. <laughs> yeah. Because we see wait, everything's out of plumb in today's world. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way it goes. You know, you see them. Different, hey, different uh, customized, you know, opportunities yep. out there. Yep. All right. I want to thank our expert contributors. Great show today. Great content flowing out there. Uh, Jason Cobol, he's a local attorney here in Tampa Bay. CobolLaw.com. Uh, reach out to him on a local level here. A lot, all of our expert contributors are local experts that will help you uh, here in the Tampa Bay market. Donna Barron, uh, Chris Barron as well. Uh, Barron Property Management, great team. And they're going to be able to help you in a lot of different ways. So reach out to them. Fred Muth, the 10 man, Tampa Screens and Aluminum, kind of revamping that in-between space between the inside AC uh, versus the outside where you got the mosquitoes and, and all that good stuff. So uh, Tampa Screens and Aluminum, always a great job as well, Thank you. Uh, Fred. And uh, we want to we want to remind you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness, something as simple as packing up some leftover food, uh, carrying it with you to and from your commute. And a, a reminder, check out our Facebook page, our LinkedIn page. Uh, I just posted a really cool video of how simple it is. You, I packed up some food. I handed it to this lady that was uh, obviously in need. Uh, she was hungry. She was very thankful for the food that we gave her, and it, it's so good to show you know your kids if you have kids that you can show that random act of kindness to. Uh, it's something that's really simple to do. Most people throw away their food, carry it with you, hand it to that person in need, and be a force for good in the community. And uh, continue to tune into our show. Like us on Facebook, Facebook.com, uh, Brandon Rhymes PA at Brandon Rhymes One on Instagram and Twitter, and uh, Consumer Quarterback Show handles out there as well. So great show today. Thanks so much for listening, tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show, weekday afternoons at 5 on AM 1380. The Biz.